So it's third week of April and we've had three solid weeks of uh, snow, rain, cold, wind, uh, you name it. Um, I haven't been out to my apiaries in quite some time. Every time I seem to get a day off uh, or a weekend off, it snows or it rains or something. So I haven't been able to get in my bees. Um, you know, I noticed some of my buckets, some of my colonies that back at the home apiary were empty. Uh, and rather than fill them up, it got cold, so I just closed them up, closed the colonies up, and uh, and decided to wait for a day when I could I could get in and assess them. So yesterday was kind of one of those days where I could pop a lid and see what was up, and. Uh, I only did one, but I popped the lid, and this is a normal, pretty calm colony. And uh, they were very, very ornery. I mean, very ornery. I mean, it was a little windy, but it was a nice day. But they were really ornery. And uh, got into them a little bit. I, op I opened up uh, um, a few frames, and, uh, and I discovered that uh, they were completely out of, out of food. Um, there wasn't a drop of honey anywhere in eight frames. They had pulled way back, obviously, on the brood nest to, you know, small patch. And, um, you know, that's kind of the danger you run into. Um, I thought that they had plenty. I had given them like a gallon back in second, third week of March. Uh, you know, I figured after they went through that, they had stored some and that would be enough, but apparently not. Uh, so that got me concerned. So I fed all the colonies at the house apiary yesterday. So I'm out here at the farm to assess uh, what these hives need today. And uh, I discovered right away, just by looking at the entrances, that I lost another hive. And uh, I went in it, and there were well it was a dead colony and there wasn't a drop of honey in there and the surprising thing about not having a drop of honey in was that there was still a quarter of a bucket of syrup on top of them and there was a huge pile of dead bees on the bottom um, but again they were all crowded into one one ball area around brood um, there were, I mean like I said there was a there was a lot of bees in that colony just three weeks ago and um, they they must have just starved out or something. I, I or they couldn't get up to the up to the food. You know, I I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, with the bucket right up on top of them, they still ended up starving out, which is absolutely demoralizing to me. So uh, my remaining hives, I'm down to 11 now. That survived the winter out of 20. So I'm just 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 over 50% success rate, which I'm not liking very much. But uh, let's go over here. Um, I also was worried about bears too, because although I put my electric, uh, my electronics out, I didn't turn it on because it had been sitting in, in the basement all winter and I, it needed to charge up for five days. I just haven't been back out here in three weeks, but Thank goodness no bears came, so I'm going to turn that on before I leave today. But uh, but today is a good day to kind of dig into the colonies. I've already taken care of the colony that died. I, I stripped it out, dumped out all the bees. And, uh, and now it's just um, going in and assessing some of the colonies that are left. i got to take off the, the shim boards, any kind of sugar that's on there. 
right now, and uh, I brought some um, I brought some syrup with me. Uh, I had 10 gallons made up last night. Took a trip to the store this morning, and guess what? Uh, both five-gallon pails must have dumped somewhere on the trip, and I came out of the store, and my pickup bed was leaking. And I looked, and sure enough, I lost all 10 gallons. It was on the ground, so I had to make up some more this morning. Uh, I'm not going to need 10 gallons because, well, hell, I only got five hives out here. You know, this apiary didn't do so well. I bet you I had less than 40% survival rate out here. Um, you know, I just can't get to these this colony very well, very easily in the wintertime um, or in the spring. It's just, you know, it's one of those things. It's, uh, um, you know, I, at home, they're right there. I can take care of them. Um, even if I only have 10 minutes, I can I can get something done, but I have to load up and, you know, take a special trip, 20 minute trip out here just to take care of them. And so I kind of got to reevaluate that. Um, I don't like losing so many bees, but I, uh, there's just no way I can bring these bees back um, in the fall to the house, to the home apiary. Um, I just don't have the help. You know, if I had somebody else help me lift these colonies, I would do it. Or if they were just nucleus colonies, I would do it. But they're not. They're full-size colonies. Just too much to handle uh, with one guy. Way too much. So, you got to do what you got to do. So, let's go over and uh, we're going to go and, and look in on these hives and uh, see what we can see. See how they're, if they're brooding up, if they've pulled back. And like I said, the one colony that I had at home, I noticed it had pulled way back on its brood rearing. They were really ornery. And, um, you know that cold snap three weeks just really 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 uh, did did more harm than anything so come here let's go this one lost a bucket they must have went through it and uh they're now using it as a as an upper entrance. That's kind of funny, huh? I've got to take all this sugar off because it's that time of the year when. Sugar will get them through it, but they can't store it. Yep, they pulled way back too. This was a big colony and they have nothing left, nothing. One or two frames of bees, that's it. Papers from the mountain camp, in case you're wondering. And I'll never do that again. I'm going to go for um, sugar cubes instead. I like that, that I made those sugar cubes. That, that really worked out really well.
There's pollen in here. Okay. Yep, they got a patch of brood here that you can see, but uh, they've really uh, pulled back on the brood rearing. There's no uh, no eggs or anything like that. All cap brood. And just so you know, there's also no honey in this colony. So I need to get some syrup on these guys, ASAP. Yep. So, definitely need to get syrup on them. They are about to starve out. They got some uh, drone brood. Boy, I hope that queen isn't failing on me. Must be gallon and a half feeders.
Okay, guys. Hmm. Well, let's see how they do. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting this. Look at that, they, they stored sugar in the comb, <laughs> that's funny, but there is nothing in here. I'm going to go ahead and take this bottom off. Look at all that sugar on the bottom. More sugar on that one. No sense in having two brood boxes when they don't have enough to fill one, to be honest. Okay. Okay. That one's taken care of. Okay, this bucket's done, obviously. This is a New River Honeybee Queen. 
Again, I gotta clean up all the sugar here. Sugar mess. Okie dokie. Well, let's take a look. Doesn't look good here. Just a few frames of bees. At least they're bringing in pollen, so that tells me something. No brood on this frame. There's a little bit of nectar in there. I don't know where they got that from, but. They get nectar from somewhere. Dead bees on this side. Don't know what that's about. Again, there's not much honey in these hives. My God. Yep, they pull back on the brood nest. They even, I can even tell where they uncapped all these. Filled them with nectar, wherever they're getting it from. So that's good, good sign. No eggs. Funny, all the sugar in there, granulated. Pretty spotty. Just a small spot area that they can cover. No eggs. Huh. There's honey there. Crystallized honey. They might not even have a queen. I haven't seen her. Well, that sucks. A couple frames of bees. That's it. That's kind of got honey in it. <laughs> Again, this was pretty healthy a few weeks ago. I don't see the queen. Hmm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy.
I'm just looking for the queen here. I don't see her. This one is a notoriously pissy hive. And they're hungry, I can tell. These are Minnesota Hygienics. Did make a lot, me a lot of honey though last year, which surprised the shit out of me, but they did, my God. This is going to be hard. supposed to rain today a little later first rain we've had in a while but definitely need to get some food on these hives this is a nice little hive here good population so far and I'm happy with it not really happy with the populations of my other hives but it is what it is This hive is usually attacking me by now by leaps and bounds. I'm just shocked that I haven't gotten bit. Some honey in there, old honey. Look at that, that's an old super frame that I had. Look at all the syrup in there. That's water, see that? 
that's not. My other hives did that too. This one's got honey in it. Looks like I won't have to do much with this hive. I see the bottom, I'm looking at the bottom board and I don't see a ton of garbage like I did the other hives. Of course, again, these are Minnesota Hygienic, so. I think they clean up a little bit better. Let's see what my bees are up to, huh? Lots of nectar coming in. I don't know where they're getting it, but there's nectar coming in here. Kind of a spotty brood pattern there. Lots of bright yellow pollen. See all the pollen on the on the bees that they're bringing in. That's a good sign. This hive is really roaring, which I don't like to hear. They are very jittery. A little bit of brood, very little bit of brood, uncapped. There's some uncapped brood there too. Okay, now they're starting to get a little angry at me. It's windy too, which doesn't help matters. Oh. There's a good brood pattern. With cat brood on the out, or I mean with open brood on the outside, on the bottom. A little bit of nectar on the on the top there, so they're bringing it in wherever they're getting it from, probably from popple or from um, maple. They're also building lots of brood. That was attached to the bottom. They're starting to bump me pretty good here. They're saying, time's up, pal. 
kind of happy with this colony actually. Open brood there. Some eggs. Kind of spotty, but. Not sure where the queen is. Good honey there. Lots of pollen in there. Look at all that pollen in there. Good pollen frame. Okay. I'm still going to feed them. Okie dokie. With the internal feeders, I don't have to worry about my buckets mm -hmm. flying off like I found uh, a little while ago. The only time that the frame feeders don't work is when they have to cluster. When they're clustering, they, they won't go in and go get the syrup. But other than that, uh, they'll access it on warm days or whatever, on warmer days, I should say. It's completely enclosed in the hives. It stops robbing. Uh, it's just win-win. Next week I'll be putting on uh, my strips. I was going to put them on today, but of course I ran out of the house without uh, without the strips. So I'll put them on next week. I just want to get these things, these guys fed. Apparently got me. And then of course when you're in a relationship with a farmer. You want to be a good steward of the land and clean up after yourself as far as any newspaper and things like that. Sugar, that'll kind of melt away, but if there's newspaper attached to it, clean it up. Because you definitely don't want to piss off the farmer. Breeze, out, out, ah! Fuck! God, that hurt. Whew. God, that hurt. Son of a bitch, that hurt. Oh! Ah. <sighs>
Yep, I did not get away unscathed. Uh, right at the end, when I was closing it back up, they decided enough was enough on that last hive. And I think I got stung one, two, three, I don't know, four times, something like that. That hive always gets me every time. I think I'd learned my lesson by now, but they are gonna get requeened. Even though she is a fantastic honey producer for me. Uh, yeah, it's just not very much enjoyable tiptoeing around them all the time. So, what did we learn, or what did I learn? Um, you know, there, there wasn't much that I could do. We had, like I said, I, I've been working so much with my regular job, I'm only open on the weekends, Saturday and, or I mean Sunday and Monday. And uh, if those two days are, are shut out for you uh, because of snow and cold, you, you can't do anything uh, to help your bees. I wish I could have. Um, help them out, but it, it was what it was. Um, so, you know, uh, three weeks, like I said, I put a pail feeder on them three weeks ago and, uh, and they went through it pretty quick, but I have obviously used it up. You can kind of tell it's very, very, very little honey in that hive or in those hives. Um, if, if none at all and uh, that's why they shrunk back their uh, brood rearing. When I checked them three weeks ago, there were some nice patterns, except for that one colony that you saw over there, uh, my last colony, you saw that there was even reserve honey in there. They had the most brood. They were bringing in the most pollen. They had the most bees. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, just gonna have to really, really, really concentrate on beefing these colonies up uh, in August and September instead of waiting till you know mid-September to beef them up. I'm gonna have to start right away in August and get as much on them as I can. Till next time, happy beekeeping and remember all beekeeping is local. Take care guys.